Hello, pardon me. Hello there. Hello. I was wondering if you would be interested in having your own shop and a house of... Penny's the name. Penny's mistress is selling this shop. And Penny is most eager to start one. It might surprise you to know that Penny can... Oh, it would be wonderful to have a place to sell things and... You'll be able to give Penny almost anything that you want to sell. It will be no work at all for you once the shop is up. If you want the shop and Penny hopes that you do, you should talk to Penny's mistress as soon. Why is your mistress selling the shop? Mm, Penny cannot be certain as mistress... Mm, however, she repeatedly mentions how tired she has become of trying to let the shop. She has had rotten bad luck. <sighs> Sometimes Penny simply needs to remind herself to stop. What kind of things would I... All kinds. If a buyer exists for something, then Penny can... <laughs> All right. Oh, this is splendid. You can find Mistress Mason at her home. Penny does hope she gets... Hello, Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. Why, yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested? Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvellous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a ten? I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll... Well, I reckon. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea. I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make... Hmm. An exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. Ha! Huh. You. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favour of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course. Should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel. Your faith in me is overwhelming. You're sorely mistaken if you think I'm going to fail. There's that confidence again. And, of course, I wish you every success. Do we have a deal? What precisely do you mean, should my efforts fail? Honestly, I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. But, as you've implied, the odds of that... The shop seems to be in an ideal location. It is indeed. But my late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity. It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think. In it does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop available. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. Hello again. You know, the shop won't be available forever. Madam Mason? Yes? I've decided I'd like to go. I have to say... I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry.
Give me the money. Wonderful. Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able... They're in a chest at the back of the shop. As you get organized, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavors. Penny will meet you there. Well, I've done. Oh, Penny, you... I'm glad you're here. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so... Well then, let's get... Penny is ready. Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Repair all. Nothing like a bit of hard work. Repair all. Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. Oh, yes. She mentioned it. Penny wonders if you... <sighs> Penny must get back to work. Rebellion. Someone stole one hat in here. Well, that's not very hospitable. Oh, goody! Someone to play with! You seem to have your wits about you. What fun this will be! For me, at least. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. That's the onwards, I suppose. Oh. What? In the... Who's there?
Lumos. Hmm. Seems as if I should hang something there. Akio. These lanterns must belong somewhere. Survive a bit longer than the others. <laughs> Lumos. Oh, you've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it, if you make it out, that is. Please try, if you get to the end. Perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. What's the saying? Two sides to every storm. Unfortunately for you, both sides here are my storm. And you'll have to continue to fight to get to the end. Oh. I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long in the dark. Fingardium Leviosa. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Knight to H3. Nighty night! This is a bit. That was the wrong square. Bombarda. Lumos. That wasn't too difficult. Oh, goodness! <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. Accio! Wingardium Leviosa. Incendio. Bombarda. Bombarda. Defender. Oh, 
I'm afraid of the dark. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Doesn't worry you that I can see you, but you can't see me. Be assured. Hmm, I'd offer you a seat, but I'm rearranging the furniture. Plus, don't want you getting too comfortable for what's in store, do I? Brilliant! Ah, a worthy playmate. Well done, me. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. in the scholarly route. You'll need more than you've learned from books to best me. Best me. 
It's always good to have a different perspective on things. Wingardium Leviosa. So much fun to be had. My head is spinning. Wingardium Leviosa. Perhaps I should pull the lantern into this room to so use the room to rotate it. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. 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 Hmm, running in circles, are we? Perhaps you should retrace your steps.
Lumos. Bombarder. Arresto momentum. Lumos. Lumos. Ho Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. My inordinately clever friend appeared to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now and agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursuant to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. <laughs> you get to shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! Action! 
is Cap Cap, but Cap is Cap. I mean, he's a cop. Someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about the contract... I am a poltergeist of my word. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail? specifically. Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you.
You've worn me out. Ah, well done. I have a feeling about you. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Hogsmeade, here I come. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. You knew exactly where I was going when I entered that chest. Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I... <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. Oh, did you want to watch me practice? I don't mind. Depulsor! Descender! Accio! Confringo! Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. I am perfectly capable of owning a shop. But more importantly, did you not hear the bit about the dungeon? No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before. Repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now, they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> oh, uh... known better than to do business with a wild student. Yeah. 
Gringo. Depulso. Descender. Akion. I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never really crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Second that house self of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little traitor myself! I should have known it was- Silencio. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest. I choose stitches and drafts. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny will be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you-know-what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade.